We're on our way to Hollywood and surrounding areas. To be more specific, Hollywood Boulevard, which is a famous strip filled with thousands of red stars on the ground known as the Hollywood Hall of Fame. I'm using two cameras today. This one's the Panasonic HCX920, mainly because of its stabilization, and the other will be a sharper image from the Panasonic Lumix LX100. To the side, we're passing the Los Angeles Airport, or abbreviated to LAX. This is the place where they filmed the famous sequence from Casablanca featuring Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman. Coming up is also the area where all the rich and famous come and go. They have their own check-in area, mainly to stop any unwanted fuss at the main airport, I would imagine. Right over the back, next to the tower, is a space-themed restaurant, which is 70 feet above ground level, including an observation deck on the roof. Remember Beverly Hills Cop? This was used as the police department building in the film starring Eddie Murphy. Now looking down part of Hollywood Boulevard with all the designer shops, restaurants, all types of tourist attractions, museums, theatres, cinemas and sightseeing tours everywhere. Highland Avenue is just one of the many side roads along the famous strip which we're now heading for. On the right we're just passing Mel's Diner and the building next door is the Hollywood Museum with a statue of Marilyn Monroe outside. Coming up to the crossroads which is about central area. Now walking along the world famous Hollywood Stars Walk of Fame, which runs parallel both sides of the road for miles. There are a lot of people dressed up in this area. I saw a Batman, Edward Scissorhands, Spider-Man, Superman, Supergirl, Catwoman, loads of them. And here comes Spider-Man, casually walking down the street doing his shopping. It also includes street performers from musicians, magicians, juggling acts, you name it, and somewhere they'll be here. Look at this. Only in Hollywood will they have an actual museum dedicated to the broken relationships. And here it is. And I can definitely tell you that there are many weird and wonderful places like this all over the area. I've just switched to the LX100 camera and I'm now inside one of the larger stores. This one is called La La Land. Did they name this after the film? 
What was the film named after the store? Here's another called Hollywood Land, because that was the name that was on the Hollywood Hills until they decided to shorten it. Imagine winning one of these Oscars, never mind how you're going to carry it home. Where will you keep it? Have you ever seen the Chinese theatre on television? Well, this is where it lives. It's now known as the TCL Chinese Theatre. Inside and behind the scenes at Hollywood's movie palace of the stars, the TCL Chinese Theatre on our 30 minute walking tour. It will begin at once. This is one particular place to see all the stars when the red carpet is out and the premiere is being shown. But the rest of the time, you just make do with all the lookalikes. There's also a two-thirds replica at the Walt Disney Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. There, did you just catch a glimpse of the sign before the bus moved in front? In order to get a better look, I'm going to have to climb these stairs. I will say that there are lifts to all floor areas for anyone that finds it difficult. This is all a curious area. Those people on the bridges in front are able to get a good view of the Hollywood Hills. And there it is on the horizon. You've seen it so many times on TV and at the movies. The Hollywood sign. And as I said earlier, it was once known as Hollywood Land. All the letters apparently are a whopping 45 feet tall with a length of 350 feet for the whole word. It was actually built by a real estate development company back in 1923 for an advertising campaign but it became really popular and was well recognised that they decided to leave it where it was. The church you see on the left is the Hollywood United Methodist Church. Now I've seen this so many times in the past in films and on television and now I'm seeing it for the first time today. The Hollywood First National Bank just in front here and just over the road is Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium. I've been to a few of them. They're all very similar to each other with lots of weird and strange things from around the world. The weather today has been really changeable. It hasn't rained thankfully but one minute it's cloudy and the next it's bright sunshine. Notice all the greenery over the back, all the natural trees and then as you look in the foreground there's palm trees which are everywhere all over Los Angeles and in the Hollywood area and beyond. Turning just behind, standing on the observation bridge and you can see that it's a sort of a mini mall filled with designer shops and places to eat. Back to the Hollywood Boulevard. Another view of the Hollywood National Bank building with all those cars. I've zoomed in a bit to look further down the road where I walked earlier. This is interesting. I decided to take a left turn off from Madame Two Swords into North Orange Drive and instantly the atmosphere completely changes to this lovely little road. A complete contrast from a hundred yards away. Right at the end facing this way is a building known as the Magic Castle which is also home to the Academy of Magical Arts. All this area is lesser known to the tourists. This road's called Franklin Avenue.
There's another look at the Hollywood Church over the back there, we saw from the bridge earlier. They started the first part of the building way back in 1927, which is actually quite recent compared to the UK churches. It's apparently based on an English Gothic style of Westminster Hall in London. I'm guessing that's the actual hall part that's out of sight to us at the moment. On the move again, now I'm looking down Hollywood Boulevard, heading into Sunset Strip, which just joins on. And there's the Capitol Records Tower building, also seen in the disaster movie Earthquake, featuring Charlton Heston, where the building is completely destroyed. Or in the movie The Day After Tomorrow, where it got hit by a tornado. They keep rebuilding it. Now you can see on the horizon some of the skyscrapers in downtown Los Angeles. The 15th tallest building in the United States is the US Bank Tower building you can see there. It's 1,018 feet high, but however the Wilshire Grand is supposedly higher, which has a flagpole or lightning conductor that brings it to 1,100 feet higher. But take that pole away and it becomes only 934 feet, which is 84 feet shorter than the US Bank Tower. So I think the Bank Tower's got to be the highest one there. Shortly I'll show you the City Hall building which is only 454 feet tall. Now in the heart of downtown Los Angeles with all the tall buildings surrounding and just in the center is the US Bank Tower. And this is the City Hall building I mentioned a little earlier. It's 450 feet tall and it features on all the Los Angeles police badges and has done since 1940. When it was first being built there was a legislation that prevented any building being built any higher than 150 feet. That all eventually changed and in 1964 it had its final completion and was taller than any other building in Los Angeles at the time. The sun's starting to set now. Here's a look outside the Mark Taper Forum and just behind is the Amundsen Theatre. This is North Hope Street and I couldn't resist getting a shot of all those houses over the back there with the low sun illuminating them all up. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed our little tour, do check out my channel for similar uploads and don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up. Take care and see you all very soon on YouTube.